Welcome to the week 9 edition of the HotFantasyFootballPicks.com video blog. Let's get it going with the matchups this week. First game, we've got Arizona at Minnesota. First game for the Vikings without Randy Moss. Should open things up for Vasante Shanko. Could be bad news for Percy Harvin, though, as he'll see more double teams, just like Wes Welker has in New England. Plus, he has a bad ankle, so we'd stay away from him this week. Key matchup, Beanie Wells versus the Williams Wall. Williams Wall has been far less effective this year for some reason. So we kind of like Beanie in this matchup, but we're going to give the game to Minnesota. Next game, Chicago coming off a bye going into Buffalo. We'd start Matt Forte this week against the Bills defense. Key matchup, Jay Cutler and his seven interceptions against Buffalo's defense, which has only intercepted one pass this year. We'd sit Fred Jackson in this one. And like we said, the Bears coming off a bye, so they should be healthy. Our prediction is Chicago. Next game, Miami at Baltimore. Player to watch is Derek Mason going up against Miami's number two corner, which is either Sean Smith or Jason Allen. They've been flip-flopping this year because nobody can take hold of the job. So we kind of like Mason in this one. Key matchup, Anquan Bolden versus Vontae Davis. Vontae Davis is the Dolphins' number one corner. He's been very good this year, so Bolden might not have a great game. We'd sit Ronnie Brown. And we look for Ed Reed to maybe get a pick of Chad Henney this week. Our prediction is Baltimore. Coming up next, we've got New Orleans at Carolina. Our key matchup in this one is Steve Smith versus the Saints secondary, which is minus both their starting cornerbacks the past two weeks. We'd start Jonathan Stewart despite his poor performance last week. Saints are giving up 108.6 yards per rushing per game. Julius Jones, signed off the street a few weeks ago, is in line for an increased role this week. Chris Ivory has been ineffective, and he suffered a minor concussion last week. The Saints' inconsistency has plagued them all season, so they've been a very tough team to predict, but we're going to give the game to New Orleans. New England at Cleveland. Wes Welker, as we stated before, has seen a lack of production since Randy Moss left town because he's seen more double teams. The health of Dion Branch in this one, he saw limited snaps last week due to a groin injury. Colt McCoy is expected to start for Cleveland once again. And Tom Brady, also affected by the Randy Moss trade. The Patriots offense has gone into like a dink and dunk mode as opposed to a big play stretch the field team that they used to be. Our prediction is New England. The Jets at Detroit. The Jets are coming off a zero-point performance against the Packers last week, so we'd expect them to come out firing. We'd sit Javid Best in this one against the Jets' defense. The Jets have been spreading the wealth in the passing game since Antonio Holmes returned, making Dustin Keller and Braylon Edwards less desirable plays. Jericho Cotri led the team in targets last week. We don't expect that to happen again. We'd start LaDainian Tomlinson this week against Detroit. Our key matchup is Darrell Rebus versus Calvin Johnson. Calvin coming off a three-touchdown game. And our prediction is the Jets. San Diego at Houston. Two key matchups in this one. Matt Shaw versus the Chargers' number one pass defense. And Phillip Rivers against Houston's number 32 pass defense. We like Houston at home in this one, but it should be a shootout. We'd start Patrick Creighton as Malcolm Floyd is likely to be out for one more week. And our prediction is Houston. Tampa Bay at Atlanta. Atlanta should roll over Tampa in this one. We'd start Roddy White and Michael Turner. LeGarrette Blunt is looking to build on his impressive week eight performance, although Tampa figures to be behind early in this one, which could phase him out of the game plan. Key matchup is Mike Williams versus Dante Robinson. Dante Robinson is the Falcons' number one corner. Mike Williams coming off a 100-plus yard game last week. Our prediction is Atlanta. Giants versus Seattle. Beware the West Coast road trip. Teams from the East Coast traditionally struggle on the West Coast. Seahawks also play very good at home traditionally. Key matchup is the Giants' D-line versus the Seahawks' banged-up offensive line, which is likely to be out uh, top pick Russell Okong again this week. We'd start Steve Smith against the banged up Seahawks secondary. Number one corner Marcus Trufant is fine. He'll be on Hakeem Nix. 
but Darius Hayward Bay exploded last week, which should tell you something about the Seahawks' number two cornerback position. Our prediction is the Giants in a squeaker. Colts at Eagles. Michael Vick's going to return to the lineup, which is good news for LaShawn McCoy. It'll open up Ryan Lanes for him. Deshaun Jackson is questionable return at this point. Health of the Colts running backs is going to be key. Joseph Adai, Mike Hart, and Donald Brown are all banged up still. We'd start Pierre Garçon against new Eagles starting cornerback Dimitri Patterson. Our prediction is Indy. Kansas City at Oakland. This game features the Chiefs' number one rushing offense versus the Raiders' number two rushing offense, so we should see a lot of running in this one. The Raiders are another team that traditionally plays very well at home. Nambi Asamoa, Raiders shut down corner. His status is uncertain as he sprained an ankle last week. Zach Miller was on crutches after last week's game due to a foot injury, which limited him to just one reception. Lewis Murphy is still likely out for Oakland. We like Kansas City in this one. Dallas at Green Bay on Sunday Night Football. Donald Driver is not expected to play this week due to a quad injury, making James Jones a better play. Jason Witten has shown great rapport with John Kitna with double-digit receptions last week. Our key matchup is Kitna versus the Packers secondary, which should be seeing Al Harris and Atari Bigby return this week. Our prediction is Green Bay. Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. We'd sit all Bengals offensive skill players in this one, except maybe Terrell Owens, but even, even he is not a good play this week. Steelers have the number one overall rush defense. Our key matchup is the Steelers receivers versus the Bengals secondary, which has been banged up recently. Our prediction is Pittsburgh. So there it is. Check us out, hotfantasyfootballpicks.com. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter containing our weekly picks. Follow us at Twitter. And post your line of questions on our forum. Thank you. Good luck this week.